Hello guys, today I want to show you a piece of beautiful code in PHP that I want to emphasize with a lot of question marks here in the function definition and in here and those question marks come from kind of newer PHP syntax which is not that new anymore but still I see a lot of developers don't use that so I want to emphasize that to make your code shorter instead of doing if statements or other checks. And this comes from a free repository, Laravel repository by Pascal, who released Eddy Management as Splayed demo app. He's the author of Laravel Splayed, and he created a real application to manage servers, open sourced it, and I will link that in the description below. And if you don't know what Splayed is, I have a full video course, quite short, 45 minutes, of showcasing another way to create SPAs with just Blade syntax. I will link that as well in the description below. But topic of today is these question marks. So kind of two lessons here. The first part is nullable types. So when defining the type for the variable, parameter or return type, you may add question mark, which means that this parameter is optional and may have null as value. This feature comes from 7.1, PHP 7.1. So this is the documentation and you can do this string and this string here, for example, to kind of tell other developers and PHP compiler that it may be null. Now, what happens if you don't pass that question mark? I have an experiment function in my Tinkerwell, so if you have that as null and default value, and if you just call that function without any parameters, it returns null as it should, so no error. If you don't pass that question mark, then actually nothing happens. We refresh and it's still null because it has default value. So with this syntax, what it actually does is inform other developers in the future, which may be yourself, by the way, that this variable can be null. And it may be important for someone who would call that function in the future, they would know that they may skip that parameter or assign null to it. So this is not a syntax error, but it would be a syntax error if you have something like this. So if you don't pass the default value and you don't pass that as nullable and you call that function like this, we refresh and we have an error of too few arguments. And now if we do have that without the default value, we refresh and we still have an error. So actually Pascal, the author, has the best solution here. This is how I would do that with both default value and the nullable type. But this is more to avoid syntax error and this is more to inform other developers who would work with that code in the future. And then the second part, the second topic of this video is these question marks. These are called null safe operators and they appeared quite recently in PHP 8.0 and they allow you to call some object and call the method of that object without checking that the object actually exists. In that function, in that job, the task is an object, but it may be null. So what happens if you do pass null, but you want to call the method from that object, which may be null. So this is where you add a question mark here or here, two cases, and then if that object is null, PHP would not fire an error. Similarly here, server created by user, that user may be null, may be deleted or something, we try to notify the user if they exist. This null safe operator is well explained by Brent, who is a superstar of explaining new things in PHP. So to avoid doing something like this, you could do just something like this. So you can even chain those things with PHP 8. And by the way, if you haven't upgraded to PHP 8, the earlier versions of PHP are not even officially supported. So you should upgrade to PHP 8 anyway. And I will link that article in the description below as well. And actually while shooting this video, I have noticed the third question mark that I haven't even thought about. So this one, did you know this syntax? It's a ternary operator. So to avoid if statements, so if that tail output is present, then it would be used. Same thing, if error message is present, that would be used. Otherwise, if it's empty, it would default to empty string. And this comes from a very old syntax. I also found it on Surprise Surprise Brand's blog. It's called shorthand ternary operator. So this is a shorter version of this. So this is for true and this is for false. But if you want to handle only false, you can have a shorthand like this. 
So are you using those newer syntax things in PHP? And with those small syntax things, it's a matter of habit. So you use it once, twice, and then it becomes a habit. In my opinion, this code is really well written, readable, and it could be an example. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Share your opinion in the comments below as usual. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.